Greetings and salutations. This is your boy Boom. I love your ascension, aka. I love your astrology, aka. I love your tarot. We're back. Um, coming straight in with this divine masculine situation. We'll be doing divine feminine situation immediately after this. Then we're gonna take a brief intermission and um, you know uploading and shit. And then uh, I'll be doing karmic situations and uh, twin flames in union. Reunion and recognition by the end of the afternoon. So that's my day. One down, five more to go. Let's just get it on in here and get these messages. So shuffle one more time. Ain't checked out Twin Flames and Separation yet. I mean, you possibly couldn't at this point because if you is checking this out before you even finish the separation video, that's that shit I'll be talking about. <laughs> Talking about hey look you only get a select few videos at least for me okay so for a person who ain't fucking oversaturating the motherfucking YouTube game for a person who only does a set amount of videos and shit but you cross watching this is that shit tweaking to me I don't know it's like you eating some food and then you eat some other food before finishing your plate or opening up a beer and then open up another beer for you finish the other beer. You're going to end up wasting beer like that, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to fully digest these readings. This shit came out today, but you probably ain't even going to get the message of this reading probably till Monday. <laughs> it's how these be, or next Monday. That's how this shit be. Just because there's dates on here doesn't mean that the energy just stop here. These are messages at the end of the day. You can always go back and get a message. You know what I'm saying? These ain't just readings. They messages. Good spread out here, masculine. Devil card out here, though. Devil came up twice. <laughs> we almost done. Let's get it cracking. Why masculine situation? Overall energy. We got the eight of wands here. Communication, communication, communication. This has been popping up a lot. You need to hear from a particular someone. I mean, you can always pick your motherfucking fingers up and like dial this person and call this person. But since you want to be, I don't know, thinking motherfuckers can hear your thoughts when they can't. You're looking for a phone call from this person. That'll be good. Ten of Cups, emotional fulfilling. That emotionally fulfill you. I mean, it's like getting a call from a person you want to hear. Talking to a person you want to talk to. Not dealing with somebody you don't give a fuck about. Talking to somebody you kind of want to talk to. Let's put some more smoke on this. Six of Cups. Somebody who's saucy. Who do I facilitate sauce with? The Divine Feminine. Yeah, man. It's like you want to talk to the sauce maker. Some of my twin used to, used to hit me up back in the day. <laughs> we was cool and shit, gelling and shit. They hit me up, yeah, man. You know what I mean? I got a job for you. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you embarrassing me. You know what I mean? Because uh, you know I ain't gonna be sticking my neck out for you. You know, but make sure you ain't bringing none of that ignorant ass nigga shit up in there. You know, make sure you professional. You know what I mean? Come on, son, get on your shit. And I go up there and they be just beefed up. The, the, the person who I'm supposed to talk to, he like this super big gangsta motherfucker from back in the day that I need to respect and all that shit and then you know give the nigga that I am I go up in there and analyze the business and it's just like I mean thanks for looking out for your boy but it's like this ain't the type of moves or the type of connections or the type of level of shit I'm trying to get on you know I'm still gonna go to that meeting I'm still gonna do what my twin tells me to do because I've always done that and it's never hurt me yet <laughs> Me listening to my twin ain't never hurt me in any kind of way. I'm going to say that shit one more time. Me listening to my twin has never hurt me. Ever. So, it's obviously going to be a message you're trying to give out, masculine, or at least a message you want a particular saucy someone to comprehend. And by delivering this message, it at least make you feel good. Over energy. Bottom 
my energy. Six of, six of wands. This is W's. Wins, celebrations, victories. Shit your feminine was going uh, through in the last week. She winning, now you winning. She saucy, you saucy. You she went you went through the well, you still going through the dark night of soul. You was going through this shit. Last message too. So it's I take it as this. Uh bottom line, in the separation reading, like I said, the wine master wasn't going through the dark night of soul. Uh, going past the point of no return with the feminine. Giving actions. You know? You in the dark night of soul still. Masculine, but you winning in your head. Charlie Sheenan like a motherfucker. You blessed. You win it. It's like how your feminine looks at you all the time. Just the fact that I know my, my twin I'm winning out here. That's how I look at my twin. The fact that I know my masculine, the fact that I knew my masculine, when he if you you know when he goes, when he's resting in peace, when I when I say when I knew him. I know him because he's around. He's still here. But when it gets to when I knew him, you know what I mean? It's still going to be the same with what I know. He changed my life. He made me a better person. Better human being. A more considerate, loving. Very disciplined. Uh, behave human being when it comes to love. God, light, and righteousness. I learned a lot of that from my tongue. The shit he does, the shit that I do from the shit that he does, this whole journey, this whole demo, this whole experience. Whether it's been a separation or union, <laughs> I've never lost fucking with my twin in life. And I don't think I'm going to ever start. That's the mentality you need to have because this is the mentality your divine masculine is grasping right now. He can never lose fucking with you. He can lose you, <laughs> but he can never lose with you, though. What I mean by he can lose you is, like I say, we grown up, some shit just gets old, tired, dead, dry, and booty. You need to just let that shit go. Twin included. It's options. You always got the option to piece him the fuck out. Now, you're always going to have the same feelings. You're always going to have the same mentality. You're always going to have the same emotions of your twin. It's just you're going to physically not deal with it. Yes, rule number one. This twin flame shit is optional, but kind of it's like rule number two. <laughs> kind of like rule number two. This is a divine demo. It's not worldly. It's like your last boyfriend was an alien or a superhero. And he flew back off to Krypton or wherever the fuck he from, wherever planet he from. And it's like you fucking with the, reg the regular dudes. He just had a superhero. Feel me? Sad. A whole X-Men and shit. Now you a square. You're going to miss it. You know, you're not fit. You don't physically have that anymore, but you're still going to feel that. You're still going to remember that. That shit's still going to be on your brain, in your heart, you know, on your joy list and shit. <laughs> But yeah, you know, your divine master is winning either way, dealing with you. And that's something they're comprehending and putting final smoke on that. Eight of Cups. It's, in fact, disciplining him more. Into a position in the same way it did you, feel me? Like I said, same way my twin affected my life by the shit we had going on. It's going to do the same shit for him. You guys are reflections. I just told you how my life is the shit biscuits. Given this whole demo with me and my twin. Why wouldn't he get blessed the same way? Why wouldn't he ascend the same way? Like, you know, he's my reflection. So if it took for me to get like that in my way, why wouldn't it be like that another way around? Bottom line energy. Period. So. Moving to the Divine Masculine's Mystery Madness role, we got the Three of Wands here. It's purpose. It's the Divine Feminine's role, but if anything, it's purpose. It's doing something outside yourself that's blessing people while blessing yourself at the same time. Clarifying that is the world card. Purpose in the world. This is in your Divine Masculine's subconscious. They have a purpose in the world. Let's put more smoke on that. 
Sorry for not having purpose in the world. Six of Pentacles. They're going to have to get square. This is another lesson in the wine feminine learned in the last reading. In the process of you doing your purpose in the world, it's like you got to get square. How do you get square? You got to manifest eight pentacles. That's a harvest. You got to have a harvest. You got to create that yourself, too, because you're not giving shit. You know what I mean? When you go outside yourself to do things, that's a blessing. Best believe you're going to get blessed for that, especially in the world. Because people in the world get blessed. So how are you not? You divine. Feel me? You get square at the end of the day. So like I said, you're going to have to do your part. What is your part? That's three of one. That's how you get square with God. Six of Pentacles. How you get square with God? That's doing this right here. Three of one. Six of Pentacles. How you get square with yourself in life in the world is eight of Pentacles. You just coming. You just building two more Pentacles on top of this this blessing that you already have. Thus maintaining and creating your own garden. But like I say, attaining things is easy, but maintaining them shits is the hardest part. Okay, you found your purpose. Okay, you're doing your purpose. Okay, you, you attain that. But maintaining that shit, still got to do that. Bought that new house you wanted. Okay, you bought that motherfucker. You attain that bitch, but maintain that bitch. It's going to be the really crucial key here. You got to keep things. Having things is easy. Keeping them things is a whole nother level. And that's a whole... That's a whole lesson you're masculine. Learning. That you're learning right now, masculine. So you... Personally, coming to the situation, you got the eight of swords, self-imposed prison, safety nets, um, covers over your head against the monster. But in reality, if the monster was real, they would have been ate you up. Type energy. It's all mental. Self-imposed prison, something you don't need to be. Verifying a self-imposed prison is a five of wands. That's outside conflict. So it seems like. Outside conflict has got you in a self-imposed prison. What's outside conflict? That's some shit you can deal with or not. You can walk around it or you can choose to, I don't know, face it head on. But I wouldn't face head, you know, I wouldn't face outside conflict head on. It's like playing chicken with somebody that's like you running through a brick wall. It just, it just doesn't make sense. You're not going to progress. You're going to immediately stop once you get hit by something or once something hits you. We have to break out of our self-imposed prisons and masculines. You're starting to see exactly what your prison looks like. Putting more smoke on this. This is consciously. You're starting to see what your self-imposed prison really look like masculine. And it's causing outside conflict. But it's all mental. Shit you got to deal with anyway. It's outside conflict. I told you. You can't let this you can't let this shit get you to you can't let this shit evolve to another level. Like, I'm to put this. The self-imposed prison that you in, if you stay in it long enough, all you will do will be fighting outside conflict. You know, that's like in every battle you choose to do the same shit. This is war before guerrilla warfare. The world of warfare had to happen because there had to be new tactics, man. Can't do the old shit all the time. You put yourself in a self-imposed prison hitting people with the same shit you've been hitting them with. Obviously, somebody gonna hit you with some new shit. That's outside conflict. Somebody hitting you with some new shit. It's like you in a gun battle with pistols and a motherfucker pull out an AR. It's like this nigga changed the game. It's like you in war and motherfucker pull out a flamethrower on your ass. Shit just shit just shit just got real. That's outside conflict. That shit you ain't playing for. It's the revolutionary war. You ain't playing on a motherfucker to come on a motherfucking war path with a Uzi. Imagine that shit. A Uzi in a revolutionary war. You just took out a whole army with one gun. And these niggas got muskets and shit. That's the outside conflict. If a motherfucker got an Uzi and it's the Revolutionary War and you got a musket, motherfucker, you better run. You can't fight. You can't. You can't. You can't do nothing with that. You could try to fight this person head on and get your ass killed. That'll be a self-imposed prison even thinking you got a chance when you don't. Ace of Swords. It's only one direction you need to be going anyway, Forrest. And that's home. And you need to run home, Forrest. Not towards conflict, not run 
away into chaos and further away from your twin. No, you need to run towards your fucking twin. You need to run towards your fears anyway. If you fear your twin, you need to be running towards your twin. I know my twin fears me. He fears me in ways and in, in, in levels. You know, whether he fears that I'm going to do way better than him in life than he did, given the age that I'm at and the age he was at when he was doing the same shit that I was doing, how I'm doing it different from how he's doing it, more effectively, more efficiently. He fears that's going to happen. He loves me, but like I said, your twin is also your biggest fucking hater. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not saying he don't want me doing good. It's just he kind of want me doing better than him. There's nothing against that. That's just the shit he's going to have to work on. That eight of swords, that self-imposed prison he in, that fucked up mentality. Boy, I'm 30 years younger than you. And I'm way more wise than you ever was my age. Because what the fuck you think going to happen? <laughs> I found my purpose well earlier in life than you did. What the fuck you think going to happen? Don't hate. Congratulate. Because without you, would none of this be possible? And that's the shit you need to be focusing on. Not fearing what all I'm going to do better than you. You need to just support me doing good anything. I mean, that's just how I look at it. Like, it's all mental shit. This flack you catch from your twin. The whole beast. The whole pulling apart and coming back together and shit. But it's, it's two party stuff. Moving on, feminine role, feminine energy. Even in regards to the feminine, subconsciously masculine, and your mystery madness role, you need to be ten toes the fuck down on seven of swording right now. Seven of swording, what's that? It's a Decepticon. You're wearing a fucking mask right now. I gotta take a sip on this. You're wearing a mask right now, masculine. You need to take that shit off. On GD, this is some shit. I'm telling you. I've been in my twin flame situation for seven years. Seven going on. This is seven years now. This would be like some shit my twin was supposed to told me in year two. I told you in year two when I met him, I did this. Seven of Swords. I came out the fucking bag. Oh, to my first fucking separation, true separation, damn near almost self destructed. Well, it wasn't. We cool to this day. So obviously. I didn't self-destruct what we had, well, what I said or what I revealed to him and shit like that. But it's mental anyway. How he took it. And it's mental how I interpreted it. Interpreted it. <laughs> I was fucking young, man. I was my like late 20s, bro. 26, 27, trying to figure out what the fuck this was. And it's all mental, swore, swore, it's all mental. So it's like I had to be I had to be ten toes the fuck down to tell him the truth of what this was. It helped. Like not instantly. It helped earlier. It ain't helping now. This shit. But in my personal opinion, it's only because my masculine ain't did this shit yet. Like I say, I know Seven of Swords secrets and shit about my twin that he doesn't even have to reveal. You know, that I got from analyzing you, YouTube psychic personalities. Like I say, anything you want to fucking know in this world, you're going to get revealed. Okay? It's just how you mentally perceive it. But the shit that I learned or perceived that my twin has gone through, this is the shit that I know he needs to tell me. He's got to tell me this shit. Because it makes a lot of sense. Shit that I found out makes a lot of sense. Explains a lot. Why he acts the way he acts. Why he even come at me the way he coming at me and shit. So it only helped for him to acknowledge that. I already know. But it's the acknowledgement part. At least we can be through. What the you hiding this shit from me when I already knew? Whatever it is, your master is about to tell you, I'm pretty sure you either A, know, or had a sense of. It's all mental at the end of the motherfucking day. I mean, put more smoke on that. We got two of wands. This is doing your part. You gotta do this. You gotta go forward to the next step. Ace of Wands is being aware. Okay, you're going to have to do something with that awareness. You're going to have to put another action with that awareness. And that's all this is. 
Queen of Swords. You need to be ten toes the fuck down on a mental decision. All right, boom. Two, seven of swords. Keep some shit 100. Bring some shit to the light. Tell some truth. Reveal some things that ain't been revealed yet. Even though it's probably already known, but this, 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 like I said, you have to do the, the, the revealing. It's only going to help you in your demo with your feminine. I'm talking about nobody else right now. Masculine, you in regards to your damn self, bro. <laughs> you in regards to yourself with the feminine, this is you. This is you consciously in regards to your feminine. You got the devil card being clarified by the king of wands. You got Agent Smith here. Pair it up with you. Neo, this is you and your best friend. Best friend. I told you the devil's your best friend. And I don't mean like the devil because he's a bitch. You know, we ain't talking about the, the, the Caligula. We ain't talking about Caligula. Okay, we're talking about fucking Agent Smith. Whatever your Agent Smith is. This could be a drug. Habit. This could be money. This could be your job. This could be your karma. This could be your fucking self. Okay? This devil shit, you're going to have to drop that. Period. Why is it so hard for you to get rid of this devil, masculine? So if you are addicted, why is it so fucking hard for you to quit? You got to quit for yourself. You ain't quitting for your feminine. You know your feminine wants you to quit, if that's what it is. But she probably don't even know what the fuck you're going through, seven of swords. Some shit has got to be revealed. What this really is. If it's a drug problem, you need, you need to talk to your twin. Eight of wands, communicate. You let her know what the fuck's going on with you. If it's a fucked up relationship, you need to let your feminine know what the fuck she can do so she can help. It can be a she, she can be a he, you know how we can rock. A bad business deal. If your twin can help, holler. That's what they're here for, to help you. Not for you to be ashamed, not for you to be humiliated by what you're going to do by including your twin in your issue. Or, Like I said, this is the energy of like... It's clear as day the relation you have with whatever this devil is. And the devil is being chained to something. It's addictions. It's overindulging. It's regression. Past behavior. And negative behavior. That shit I just, I just named go hand in hand with you. And you like that. You like when this shit goes hand in hand with you. Why? The fuck is this about? <laughs> what the fuck is this about? Five of Swords. That's how you buy time, huh? Ugh, I gotta take a sip on this. I'm about to drop a jewel. Look. I'm telling you, my mask is the same way, bro. This motherfucker will rather sabotage some good shit than to just let the good shit ride. You know what I'm saying? Instead of admitting that I know more or he was wrong, he'll just sabotage the whole moment. You a motherfucking little ass nigga, I'm a big ass nigga. Grow up, step your game up and get on my level in the conversation. Like nigga, age ain't nothing but a number. Status ain't nothing but a thing. Fuck anything. What any of that shit got to do with our divinity, our purpose, our role, us blessing people out in life, and us getting blessed ourselves in the process? What does any of that bullshit got to do with that? Absolutely nothing. That's the type of conversations we need to be talking about. How we can bless people out here. How we can bless our motherfucking selves. Because you're powerful and I'm powerful. You unlock the powerful inside of me. I know I'm unlocking the powerful inside of you. Nigga, we need to get together and get this power together and become a two-headed dragon. Form like Double Dragon or something. Form like Voltron. Form like the motherfucking uh, Power Ranger Megazord. And get on some business out here. It beats the bullshit we be on with this back and forth shit. But the only reason shit is back and forth is because of this devil. You can't get enough of it. That keeps you delayed. It buys you time. Because at least you got this devil as an excuse. Whatever this devil has been. But it ain't really been an excuse. Because we don't know what the fuck this devil is. We do know the delay. Is there. As an excuse for this devil. So the devil basically can be explained by the delay. 
In your own personal demonstration, feminine, look at your demo. We all got delays. I'm looking at my delay right now. Is it in the years now, man? It's, it's been a long delay. Now I see the reason for the delay is because my masculine is on this Mr. Smith shit. That's the delay between me and him. This this is, this, like I said, this is in regards to the feminine, right? And this is your masculine consciously in regards to the feminine. It's the delay of the whatever delay it is. It comes from this dealing with the devil shit, dancing with the devil shit, playing with Mr. Smith, Neo Mr. Smith shit. Eventually, this Neo Mr. Smith fight has to end. It ended in Matrix 3. <laughs> So in movie terms, it took Neo three years to get rid of this dancing with the devil shit. Here it is, seven years in my demo. My twin, Mike Neo, is still fighting Agent Smith. Obviously, he likes doing it. But obviously, something in his peasy ass little head. <laughs> Peasley. Something in his head that got him thinking all mental swords, five of swords. That got him thinking it's enough for a delay to happen. It's mental shit. You thinking you could just, you know, thinking your delay is, I don't know, like cool because you got demons you dealing with. Like, fuck all that. It's like I'm telling you, motherfucker that's depressed, the motherfucker that's whatever. Fuck all that. Get your weak ass out of here with that shit. I don't wanna hear that shit. I deal with that too. I just don't call it depression. I don't call it anything, because that's what it is. It ain't anything. It's nothing. It's an outside conflict that I'm walking the fuck around by saying it's nothing, acknowledging that it ain't shit. It's like fear. Whatever you fear. Only thing I fear on this planet is God and my mama. So I don't give a fuck about anybody outside of them people on a fear level. Devil, eat a dick. Lucifer can suck a fat one. Satan knows exactly where I stand with him. But they ain't shit anyway. Moms? I don't know. Me and my mother had a duel. She would smoke me quick as hell. If we went toe to toe, fist the cuts. My mom beat the brakes off my ass, bro. She ain't no big 6'5", 300 pound type mom. She's more like a 6'2", slim with the old lady pouch and shit. But it's like, look... <laughs> She'll still give it to me. Why? Because I'm the person she created. So eliminating me is easy. Maybe like me going against my son. I created that motherfucker. I know I can eliminate him. Even if he's 6'8", 300 something pounds. I think I think I can still give him some go. Given that I'm a person that fathered the boy. But with that same mentality, that's the shit my twin got with me. He's older. Thus, he's more superior. He's been around a life longer. Thus, he knows more than I do. He's lived longer than I am. Thus, his life has been way more grander than mine. Maybe true. I don't think it is. He thinks it's true. But it ain't about what I think. It ain't about what he thinks. What matters is the effect. What matters is the effect of what y'all did. Together. Separately. And overall. My asking, you gotta stop dancing with the devil. It's only delaying more time you've already delayed yourself with thus far. Masculine bro, you subconsciously in regards to yourself, masculine, you need grooming. This is what popped off in the separation reading too. You need to be groomed. Okay? You need to be groomed by a person more greater than you. Part of you being in the same spot you've been in is because you've been holding on, like really holding on to what you know. And you got to evolve. This is like me with rap. The reason why I involve in rap is because I involve with the game. I'm all about bars, so it's about lyrics with me. I'm about beats, so it's about beats with me. Like real good beats, though, soul beats. None of this 808 trap bullshit, none of this get crunk, get crunk, get crunk shit that the game seemed to be moving towards. It's auto-tune shit. All my rapper homies was doing. I was the only nigga that didn't do it. 
Like, fuck auto-tune, bro. Y'all niggas, what's the fuck, man? Y'all got the 808 shit with the auto-tune now? Nigga, we too old for this shit. Really? Boom, you stuck in time, G. You need to pick better beats, bro. You need to do better ad-libs. I wasn't no ad-lib. My ad-libs was like when I be rapping in the studio, I be just keywording, like keynoting words I'm saying. Like, yes, bless, yes, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't do the whole... Super duper duty ad lib shit, but that's what motherfuckers is on now. I don't do the whole auto tone shit, but that's what people is on now. I mean, beats are like my shit's kind of soulful, but this 808 trap shit is what's popping now. And if I don't pop with it, then I ain't gonna pop. You gotta evolve, but it's on a worldly level, and that's the reason why I didn't get down with the shit because I felt like I was kind of going backwards, going on that level. But in reality, I'm just doing what I gotta do to solidify my physical. It ain't selling out. It's motherfucking going with the motherfucking flow at the end of the day. So she make sure you going with it. Whatever little degree you got to get, make sure you get that shit. Whatever certification you need for you to get to the next step, make sure you get that shit. Make sure you get fully aware of what you into before you get into it. You wouldn't want to be no, um, I don't know, um. Trying to see perfect example. It's like you want to work with. I don't know. So it's like you ain't going in a dangerous field, but you ain't really trained for it. You really gonna hurt yourself doing it. And not only hurting yourself, you're gonna have to really get the the knowledge to have it. You know, you just think you gotta do one thing to be in this position. Nah, it took a lot to get into this position. It might seem from the outside looking in that, they, that this is an easy job or things don't go into it. But once you learn by doing, once you get into it, you'll see exactly what you need to do in order for you to move forward. And just make sure that you move forward when you get into it. You're going to have to let shit go. You cannot go into a new situation with old shit on your book. It's not going to happen. You have to let go of a lot of shit in order to proceed. Things have to end for shit to begin. And that's what you're learning, man. Uh, consciously masculine. Consciously masculine, six of swords. You know you're going to have to roll with the homie. Who the homie? You know who the homie is. You know who the homie is. Just going with the flow, not against the grain. Seven of Cups. This is digging deep within yourself and pulling something out of yourself you didn't even know you had. Got to put more smoke in this. Too many ways I can go with this. And this does involve yourself. So, Ten of Swords. Told you, you got to end things to begin things. You're going to have to roll with the homie. And by you rolling with the homie, the homie going to pull something out of you. Something that you pulled out the homie. Told you. It's the energy of like the same shit my twin did to me. Is what I'm doing to my twin. My twin fucking inspired me. To do more. To think in a whole nother realm. He didn't sit and tell me this shit. Hey son I want you to do this. And study this and all that shit. Nah it was just like the shit he put me through. <laughs> The emotions, the, the 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 decisions, the actions that happened between us got me ascending to a whole nother level. Dealing with him got me to a whole nother level. And that's what's happening. Dealing with me has got him or getting him to a whole nother level. Seven of Cups, he's digging deep. Reaching inside himself in places he didn't even know he had. He's, it's, it's depths and levels to him he didn't even know existed prior to me. Now you can do two things. You can put what he's been doing, putting an end to this shit. You digging deep. You find a new emotions about yourself. And instead of dealing with them, you just put a permanent end to the person that's, that's bringing these feelings out. Your twin. But you've been doing that. That's easy. That's easy. You've been doing that shit. Yeah, do some new shit. Like, deal with it. Hmm. She will fuck that and get you. You'll dig deep dealing with feelings. You'll pull some shit out of you if you deal with it. Not dealing with it, you ain't pulling yourself nowhere. That's you in regards to yourself. Going to the future masculine subconsciously, you got a lot of actions to do. First of all, you got a ten of wands. You're going to have to hit something you're passionate about with this newfound emotion. This newfound mental insight you got masculine, you're going to have to go to the future into something you was passionate about. Feminine was doing the same shit. Masculine, you're doing the same shit now. 
Aside from you into some shit you was passionate about, because you got to end things to begin things. You're beginning something new. So, of course, you're going to have to end something old. Of course, you was passionate about it, but that don't mean shit. Clarifying that is the seven of wands, inner conflict. This is some shit you're going to have to deal with yourself. You're going to have to end something you're passionate about, and you're going to have to do that yourself. These are actions you have to do. This is some shit, some consciously you're starting to understand. You're going to have to do these things. The wants. You're going to have to do these things. In something you're passionate about and deal with your fucking self. Why? <coughs> we got some more wands here. Knight of Wands. You got to be moving fast and fiercely in your divine direction. You're doing this shit for God. You're doing this shit for the kingdom. You're doing this shit for divinity. You're doing this shit for something way higher than you. You're doing this for something way more higher than you like. This is where you need to be. These are the actions you need to be doing. Putting it into some shit. Dealing with yourself in the process and moving on on your journey. Feminine did it. It's time for you to do it. It's time for you to do it. And you consciously going to your future. You got the two of pentacles here being clarified by the two of swords. Once again, you're trying to figure the fuck out why your twin has this effect on you. This is you. This is your twin. You, you are, like I say, it's eternal. Your masculine is always going to have you in the heart. They got you close by, which is in their heart center. you always been in there. What's been happening, you being in this heart center or her heart center, is them trying to figure out why you're here. Let's put some more smoke on that. They're trying to figure out why you're here now. Why they're so mentally in limbo with you. Ace of Pentacles. This is the Big Bang. This is a syrup sandwich, something appearing out of nothing. But this is the Big Bang. This has been the Twin Flame demo. Something that just happened. Something out of nothing. It just happened. Here are you, and here's him. And the main shit he pussyfooting on is the third step. This has to go here. In order for you two to build. You and him are going to have to do something. But you and him are already doing something. And he's just trying to figure out what that is. You and your twin are already doing something. He's just trying to figure out what that is. But instead of trying to figure out what it is. You need to just be doing whatever it is that is. If that makes sense. Like overthinking. If you overthinking on some shit. Then you ain't going to get the actions done. We need, you learn more about doing. Masculine, you need to start doing. Get out your head. Stop thinking and start doing when it comes to your feminine. Stop thinking and start doing when it comes to your feminine. What does the universe want to know? I mean, I want to let you guys know. Um, final word here. Knight of Swords. Fear card. Making decisions without crossing your T's and dying your eyes. Let's put some more smoke on that. Seven of Pentacles, moving the fuck around, re recard, relocating, rearranging some things, reevaluating some things, repositioning some shit, reassessing some shit. Final smoke to get this final message. King of Pentacles, man, need to fuck up, do it all. Final message, masculine. Of course, you're going to have fear by the swords. Of course, you're going to have fear. Of course, you're scared. Of course, things are getting a little too much right now, you know, but it's part of the game. You're still going to have to move the fuck around. What does move the fuck around mean? I mean, get some business. Can't be out here making decisions or crossing your T's and down your eyes. You need to be crossing your T's and down your eyes so you can manifest out here so you can fucking physically move. King of Pentacles, at the end of the day, that's the CEO, an owner. Uh, an alchemist, a master manifester, a person that knows how to create what he wants. You know how to create what you want out here, masculine. So there's no fucking reason for you to be not crossing your T's and dotting your I's out here mentally. If anything, that should be telling you that it's a, um, it's a, it's a mental situation that you just need to basically evolve from. Got to get from this night of... Swords to the Queen of Swords, which you do, which is out here, which is being ten toes to fuck down on a decision. This is where you're going to end up while you're moving around <laughs> and manning up out here. You're going to have to be ten toes to fuck down on a decision. You personally masculine, and I'm pretty sure whatever this decision is, got a lot to do with this ten of wands you got. 
a passionate end you're going to have to have. I'm pretty sure you're going to have to deal with the divine feminine. And I'm pretty sure you're going to have to deal with yourself. That's the message that I got. I hope I can be of some good use. It's your boy D Boom. Let me take a little brief intermission and I'll be right back to give you these uh these messages. <laughs> 100.